Alright guys, welcome to the January 2015 brand list final discussion video. So, uh, like usual with these videos, I will be, uh, you know, recording the audio first and then recording duels so you guys can go ahead and watch some duels that are going on. So, I am not dueling while this is re uh, recording, so if anything happens awesomely or, or not awesomely in the duel, then, you know, you will not be getting my reactions, of course. But uh, this video is pretty much just uh, go over cards I may or may not have forgotten, uh, give you guys uh, my opinions on various things, give you guys a taste of uh, my ban list prediction. So of course my ban list predictions, they go up on the first of the month before. I try to get those up early as possible, so you know, that whole month when people are searching on ban list prediction, mine's a, mine is one of the first ones to pop up. I generally love ban list month because I get a ton of views, a ton of subscribers, and uh, you know, a ton of... Uh, everything, you know, even this video that I put up, you know, only a couple days ago got 112 views, so um, thanks for that. So I'm looking forward to go ahead and doing the ban list prediction. I'm, of course, um, seeing what the ban list has to offer, you know. You know, it's around Christmas time, but you know what? I don't care about Christmas. This is Christmas, you know. I, I, you know, I'd much rather, you know, run downstairs and look at the computer and look at the new ban list than run downstairs and check if there's any presents under the tree. So, uh, of course, ban list. Uh, season is much more important to me, and I just love how uh, interesting it is when it is uh, time uh, around uh, New Year's and Christmas time. You know, we start the New Year's off with a brand new year, just starting off fresh. All right, so of course I got a ton of comments from you guys, so I'm gonna go be going down all of them. Gonna be putting their links in the description uh, for everybody who commented. You know, if, whether you have a YouTube channel or not, so. Uh, if you want to you know, go to any of their channels, then hey, go ahead. Alright, so uh, let's just hop right into it. I don't want this video to be too super long, but it'll probably be long. Alright, so starting it off, uh, we have Adam Valerio. Valero? I, uh, uh, I apologize if I mispronounce anybody's name. So he's got a couple of things that he wants to go down, kind of like a bullet list. So starting off, do you think Skill Drain will be hit? Um, I hope Skill Drain will be hit. I, I've always been that kind of person just like, oh, Skill Drain didn't get hit again. Oh, Skill Drain didn't get hit again. I pretty much took Skill Drain and put it on the cards that should be hit, but will never be hitless. But of course, with the existence of Klee Put, it's probably one of the big cards that stand out as another f unfair card. You know, And I kind of feel like, due to the strength of Klee Put, it it'll kind of wake Konami up and they'll be like, yeah, you know what? You kind of forgot about this card. You know, it was just like with Super Poly. Super Poly was at 3 for forever, you know, with Heroes, that card was 3 for forever. And it only took recently, with Shadal's doing the thing, which at that time, they only had Darks and Lights, you know, so they couldn't even Super Poly everybody, but it's still, it was still enough for Konami to go ahead and limit Super Poly. So I think that, you know, when a deck can bring a card to light and use it in this kind of strength and top like this, then I think that they'll realize that, you know what? We really don't want to hit, uh, the, you know, the deck that we're trying to promote. That this card is just blatantly unfair for, you know, the for the game. It's unhealthy for the game, you know. And also, Kleeput are getting their own skill drain in the next set. So even if they were to hit skill drain, it wouldn't hurt the deck too terribly. But uh, you know, just having skill drain at three with a deck that can take advantage of it like that, like Kleeput, you know, I'm hoping that Konami will, of course, wise up and hit it, but, you know, it really depends, you know, because we always thought, you know, that Vanities was unhealthy for the game, and look what they did with that, so, um, you know, I think that we have to take into consideration is, is there any new reprints for skill drain that they're going to be putting in any sets or anything like that? If no, then they might want to go ahead and just put it down, so I'm hoping that they limit it. Uh, you know, a lot of people are hoping that they limit it, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't, so, uh, I'm going to, of course, have that on my list. I will have that on my list, but... You know, I, like I said, I wouldn't be too shocked if it doesn't end up on the list. It's because I'm just so desensitized by Konami not hitting that card. And I'm just like, I'm just looking over at, D at Soldier and I'm just like, why the hell is your brother still at 3? And Soldier is like, I don't know. Like, I thought it, my brother's skill drain was way more stupid than me. But, hey, what you gonna do? Alright, so, uh, moving on. Do you, th do you think on, what do you mean? What do I think about Sangan going back to being limited? I really wouldn't care if Sangan going goes back to being limited. I know probably a lot of people were wondering like, why the hell is Sangan banned? All right, Sangan was banned in March 2013, which was the format of windups and uh, 
that's the this was the this band list was the second hit of wind no the first hit of wind ups the first hit of wind ups and um and dino rabbit so uh you know what's the two cards that it was the card that both the decks had in common which is of course sangia so again can search you for the rabbit sangia can search you for the two card sangia can search you for the wind up stuff so kanadi thought it'd be much easier to go ahead and hit two cards uh you know that they had in common. Uh, this was also was that a uh, uh, tour guide went down to two, then recently got went back up to three. So you know, in this time and age, you know, especially with the, the ruling that Sangen wouldn't get its effect if it detects an XC material. You know, you know, it wasn't like you can go tour guide Sangen, you know, see detach the the Sangen, Sangen search. No, but it's kind of amazing that we have a card that does the exact same thing, and that's of course Scarn. So it's kind of like. Why is Sangam banned when Skarn can do anything that, you know, Sangam would love to do? That's exactly what Sangam wanted to do. Sangam wanted to be detached and search for a tour guide, but he couldn't because that's the rule. But Skarn, that's exactly what Skarn can do. So, you know, you can go Skarn, tour guide, tour guide, Skarn, Skarn, tour guide, tour guide, Skarn, you know. So that's just one thing that you could do that you could never do with Sangam. So it's kind of just odd that Sangam is still banned. You know, if. So again, were to get unbanned in this upcoming list, I wouldn't be, you know, like, oh my god, Sangan's back, the whole world's gonna explode, but, you know, it's really hard to tell if Sangan's gonna come back. Um, one of the things that is that it's just not relevant, you know, it's kind of maybe one of those cards that Konami was just like, you know, which of the Back Forces banned, Sangan should be banned too. And another thing that makes it interesting about it being banned is especially of the card art, the, you know, uh, you know, the card that involves, you know, like, um, uh, oh my god, what's that card called? Something Ride? Shared Ride or something? Or, you know, the various cards, you know, Trip to the, you know, Tour Guides to Forbidden Realm or whatever. There's a lot of card art that has Sangan being with the banned card. So, if Konami were to unban Sangan, that would kind of, you know, spoil the card art, but I'm just not sure if, you know, Konami's even thinking about that. But, you know, it seems like Konami banned banned Sangan and then poked fun at Sangan being banned by just throwing in a whole bunch of card art with other banned cards. So, you know, if Sangan gets unbanned, I wouldn't be like, oh shit, Sangan's unbanned, shit, Sangan hits banned. But if it doesn't get unbanned, I wouldn't be surprised either. So, uh, that's my feeling on that. I, I'd say it can be unbanned, but will it? I don't know. Alright, next card. Do you think uh, Magical Scientist will ever go back to 3 since Catapult Turtle got eroded? Uh, so I'm not really sure. Uh, anything about the Magical Scientist OTK with, you know, uh, Catapult Turtle and anything along those lines. So, uh, I really can't, uh, give my opinion on that. Uh, Cat... I'm trying to at least read Catapult Turtle and see it's around it. But, like I said, I'm not 100% sure on that. So, apparently once per turn you can trivia one month to inflict like, damage to your opponent equal to Half the trip. Okay, so pretty much you summon magical scientist and then uh, magical scientist. You pay a thousand to summon a uh, fusion monster that's level six or lower, and uh, pretty much you use catapult turtle and then shoot your opponent, and then your opponent takes half the attack. And uh, magical scientist is not once per turn. Um, I would probably say no, just because his effect is a once per turn. It's I, I don't know. I, I mean, the Catapult Turtle, that seems like it's pretty bad because you could just go Magical Scientist, pay a thousand, and summon a monster that would cause your opponent to take more than a thousand, and then just, you know, shoot it at them. And then, of course, his effect was neither one Catapult Turtles or Magical Scientist effect was once per turn, so you can just keep on summoning monsters and shooting monsters and OTK your opponent. I get that. But uh, just because Catapult Turtle got eroded and changed to once per turn doesn't mean that Magical Scientist is, and it kind of feels like, especially in this area, era of Xene and stuff, um, you know, one medical scientist can turn into some nice, big old juicy XCs by paying a couple thousand life points. So, you know, you can be like, oh, pay a thousand, summon this level five light, pay a thousand, summon this level five light. Bam, there's a Pleiades. So, you know, you can, by two thousand life points, you can make Pleiades. So, you know, that, you know, I'm not really a big fan of that. You know, maybe if they would have rather a medical scientist and make his effect only once per turn, then it would kind of be like an insta fusion. But, you know, I'm not kind of, I'm not really a big fan of him being unbanned unless he gets an errata as well, but that's just my opinion. Alright, next. Do you think Shadals will ever get hit? If so, what cards do you think need to hit them? Oh, 
That, I, this is a this is a tough one. This is the whole reason why I want to do another uh, final balance discussion to get your guys' opinion. I know that you guys want to hear what I have to say, but I wanted to get your guys' opinion. So that's this question is a little bit too vague for me to to you know say, state indefinitely right now without having you know other people's uh, two cents. Um, you know, I definitely think that shit all are gonna get hit. They're they're kind of they're kind of stepping back. You know, they're not the you know they're not the top two anymore. It's definitely uh. Uh, Burning Abyss and Cleveland are the top two, and of course, uh, uh, Turtles are a, th a nice third, a nice third place, but, uh, you know, I think they're definitely going to get hit. What they are going to get hit is really hard to tell, just because there's so many cards to, you know, kind of point the finger at and say, like, hey, it's you, but then there's so many cards that are just like, would Konami hit that, you know? It's just, it's, there's a thin line between... Hey, Konami wants to hit this deck to be dead, and then Konami just wants to hit this deck to lower the consistency or change how it's played. So, um, that's why I feel like this ban list is going to be really difficult to predict. It's because I don't know how hard Konami wants to go. You know, I'm not sure if Konami just like, hey, you want to you wanna tap you on the head a little bit and move on? Or I don't know, Konami wants to just kick someone in the nuts. I don't, I don't know what Konami's going to do. You know, Konami is fighting weird, and I, I just don't know how Konami's going to throw a punch or a kick. So, when it comes to Shadals, you know, you can, the only set precedent we ha really have for hitting Shadals is from the OCG, in which case they have, I believe they have Armageddon Knight at 1, they have Sinister Shadow Games at 1, uh, they have Winda and Construct at 1. And uh, overall, those aren't two terrible hits, you know, except for the Armageddon Knight, because they have Mathematician, so that's just dumb. Yeah, you know, Mathematician's way stronger of a card than I'm getting tonight, so that. Um, the Sinister Shadow Games, I can see that, you know, I can see that. Sinister Shadow Games is a very powerful card, it's kind of like a flip and a foolish at the same time, you know, it's just like, you know, why run Armageddon on Mathematician when I have Sinister Shadow Games, so, you know, I can definitely see, you know, lowering that down to one, you know, it's kind of like their own foolish, and, you know, if they want to go ahead and put that down to one, I totally wouldn't mind that, so I didn't mind that uh, hit from OCG. Well, Kami, TCG follow suit, I don't know. Um, putting window and construct to one, that's interesting as well, you know, because it pretty much forces forces the opponent to fuse into other things besides just, you know, window and construct, you know, and especially since uh, Shikinaga and um, and Gristol were coming out soon, so yeah, it's kind of interesting to see that Konami kind of push those two away and like, hey, look at these niche dolls, try these as well. So, uh, yeah, I can I can see... Not maybe Winda, just because, you know, Winda to one, really, you really only need one Winda, so, yeah, but Construct, I can definitely see Construct going to one, because the Construct spam is real, like, I, you know, I've seen it plenty of times, just keep on looping Construct, 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 so, and Construct is one of the scarier ones, so, you know, I, def I can definitely see Construct going down to one, you know, your opponent summons one Construct, you take care of it, and you don't have to worry about it anymore, so. Uh, you know, just the ability to just, you know, keep summoning that construct, you know. And maybe, uh, by construct going down to one, it might change how the deck is run, you know. Maybe the deck won't run as many light swords or artifacts just because you can't go into multiple constructs. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, I'd say if Konami hits construct, I think that'd be a fun hit, along with Sinister Saddle Games. Also, another card that, uh, I might want to see hit is Mathematician. Just because Mathematician, just like saying again, is a card that works in both decks, both in Burning this and in, um, and in Shadals, so it might be a nice hit to go ahead and hit both of them. It's a very powerful card, being able to send just any level four lower to the graveyard. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even have any, uh, uh, you know, type or attribute restriction or anything. You know, uh, and its bonus effect of being popped and being destroyed in battle, you get to of course draw a card. You know, it's just, it's just a really great and wonderful card. So, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that getting hit. And I only think that I'm not sure if that card will get hit. Is that pretty much it's a Shikinaga target? So I'm not sure how Konami feels about Shikinaga and whether they, you know, how badly they want Shikinaga to be promoted. Because, you know, if you hit Mathematician, then, you know, there goes one of your Shikinaga targets. But I guess you could still play two Shikinagas and some and Glow Bulb. So, you know, Glow Bulb is another target that they can also run. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind Mathematician being hit because Mathematician is just so damn powerful for both decks and other decks. So... Uh, I'd say Mathematician would be a nice hit. Um, Shadal Fusion, I think, would be nice. Um, I kind of feel like maybe putting it down to one might be a little bit too harsh for this list. 
this is his first hit. I don't want to like you know kick the deck in the nuts and and, and ban anything I, or kill the deck so early. But uh, maybe the two just below the consistency of getting it. You know you can always grab it back from the graveyard when a you know, monsters when a fusion monster sent. But um. You know, maybe just drop it down to two and see how it goes. Of course, you've still got your uh, three El Shadow fusions, and you're gonna have three of your equip. So, uh, maybe since Konami is giving them all of these different forms of the fusion, maybe they can slowly step away from the broke fusion being, of course, regular Shadow fusion that pretty much punishes your opponent for having a monster uh, summoned from the extra deck. Uh, you know, so maybe lower the consistency of that. Maybe drop that down to like two. Maybe start working on slowly stepping back away from Shadows. So. Um, they can move on because, of course, this is still one of the decks that they're trying to promote. But you can clearly see they're not promoting it as strongly, you know, by evidence with Windingo, and we of course need to still see the Water one. But uh, so far, it kind of looks like they're just kind of stepping away from Shadows. That they don't want Shadows to be as powerful as they used to be. But uh, yeah, I can definitely see that card getting uh, maybe down to two. All right, moving on. Uh, next we have. Uh, do you think Heavy Storm will go back to one? No, I don't think Heavy Storm will ever go back to one. Um, you know, Heavy Storm is definitely one of those kind of OTK-ish cards. I can see it from both points of views, and I've been on both points of views where it's kind of like, hey, Heavy Storm, your opponent, and then they have nothing, and then you just, you know, OTK them, or, you know, you know, I wish Heavy Storm would come back because there's so goddamn much back row in this game. You know, so I can see both points of views, but Heavy... You know, especially with Klee you know, I definitely know. Definitely, definitely know. So, uh, I just don't see it. I don't see, I don't see that card, uh, going back to, uh, one at all. I think that, uh, Heavy is just too, too broken of a card to be going to anything other than just banned, you know. And, and we just gotta get used to the card, the card, you know, not being here, you know. I think Konami's done a fairly decent job with um, hitting the back row that needs to be hit with Heavy Storm not existing. Uh, you know, Mirror Fortune Deep Prison aren't as powerful as they used to be, and uh, you know, the, the the Fantastic Four, I mean, they're at one for a reason, so, uh, no, I kind of think that uh, Heavy Storm is uh, fine at um, where it is. So, yeah, Heavy Storm will just be banned. Alright, and uh, last question by Adam. Uh, uh, do you think Monster Boy will go back to one? Uh, no. I don't think Monster Boy will go back to one either. Um, I kind of always felt like Soul Charge was more broken than Monster Lorne, but apparently Konami thinks otherwise, both here and, uh, well, not maybe in the OCG, because they have both Monster Boy and Soul Charge, but definitely here in the TCG, Konami just felt like, you know what, Soul Charge will be fine at one. And ever since it went to one, it's been stupid, you know. I, you know, I've definitely lost a couple of duels to Soul Charge, and uh, you know, I've won a couple of duels to Soul Charge to Soul Charge. So I definitely know that it's still stupid, even at one. But uh, it's, you know, it hasn't been as nearly as game shaking as it was at three. Um, so I kind of think that Konami's another in, in this boat where it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like we have Soul Charge, it's been working fine. Uh, we definitely don't need to bring Monster Born back. In my opinion, we don't need Monster Born. I think that so. In my opinion, I think Soul Charge and Monster Born should be banned both of them. You know, we have Triple Call the Haunted and Triple Oasis. So you know, if that's not enough revival for you, then I you know I don't know what to tell you because that should definitely be enough. But you know, Konami still thinks that Soul Charge should be up one. I'm just like, all right, whatever, Konami. So, uh, it, it hasn't been as bad, but the card is still definitely just stupid. But no, I don't think Monster Born's going to get unbanned. Alright, so we are already at uh, almost 20 minutes now, and I'm not even nearly even close to through with all of this. So, you know what? Uh, and I need to get this done. I'm making the executive decision. This might piss off a lot of people, but um, I'm pretty much going to push back the tag duels for this week and finish this up. I need to get this done before, um, before, um, the ban, before the 1st of December, so, um, I'm gonna actually spend multiple parts on this, I think the last time I did a final ban list discussion, there was so much that I split up into multiple parts, I definitely don't want to sit here for, you know, an hour talking, because if I sit here for an hour talking, that also means that I'm gonna have to sit there for an hour recording duels to put over this, so, uh, I'm definitely gonna, you know, cut this up into, um, um, uh, multiple parts and 
yeah, that's just how we're going to uh, do this. So, um, before we go, I'm just going to go ahead and knock this one out of the park because I'm really getting sick and tired of Slate saying this all the damn time. It's really getting annoying, but uh, pretty much Slate says, if you don't mention Time Seal in your discussion, I'd be really disappointed on Ban Time Seal. <sighs> no... I, I I just I just kind of feel like what's the point you know what's the point of unbanning time seal when we already have drastic drop off you know drastic drop off is a more controlled version of time seal time seal is chainable you can you know if your opponent you know blind MSTs you you can always just chain time seal and then they can't draw the next turn a drastic drop off can only be used during your opponent's draw phase you know being sending a monster from your hand to your opponent's bear whenever they drew it's much you know, control and not as bad as straight up not being able to draw. Because not only, you know, you, you, you draw. You get drastic drop off. You're still drawing into a new card next turn. With time seal, not only are you stunned for a turn and not drawing, but now you're a whole turn behind when it comes to drawing. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of time seal getting unbanned. I'm not a big fan of anybody trying any loops with it or anything, you know. Uh, generally, in my opinion, it's kind of an unhealthy card. And, uh, I'm just not for it, you know. I'm just completely not for it at all. So, if I see anything involving any comments of time still anymore, I'm literally just going to delete them. Because I'm, I'm really getting tired of this. I, I hate this whole cheering for the shit team. Like, oh, heal the seal and free my nigga Stratos and shit like that. Because it's really, it really gets annoying. Like, you're not, you're not, you're not bringing any valid arguments for it. You're just screaming out whatever the hell you want and then coming up with these hashtag cheers for no fucking reason at all and not bringing any valid arguments. I say that Time Seal is unhealthy for the game. It has a valid reason to be banned and, you know, I'm not for it. So, if you're for it, then hey, more power to you. We'll go ahead and see who's right on the next ban list and the next one and the next one and then sooner or later, maybe Time Seal will get unbanned, but I just don't see it right now. So, there we go. Yeah, got that out of the way. So, like I said, I apologize to all the tag partners, but uh, right now, this is more important. This needs this needs to be done. Like, this needs to be done before the first. I need to go down everybody's uh, comments and uh, go down all of these lists and definitely get this done. So, I apologize for inconveniencing any tag partners. I apologize for, uh, you know, not having this uh, correct, but I definitely need to uh, go ahead and get this out of the way so we can uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, get this right. Alright, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this first part, I said, I'm definitely gonna go down every single person's comments and uh, get this right, so if you haven't commented already, be sure to um, put the link in the description for the video, or uh, you can just comment in this video as well. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed, so thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be using Heraldics, but we'll be, of course, moving down uh, this list of comments and slowly getting this all done. There's a lot of comments, a lot of things to talk about. You guys took a lot of time to, uh, you know, comment, so I'm going to take a lot of time to reply. Alright, thanks for watching.